Hey guys, welcome back to the gaming channel where we're not good gamers, we're just good people who play games. And welcome to the Tech, tech Show. show. Alright, so today we are going to review the best vlogging cameras. We have six cameras here. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna get in too much specifics of, you know, frame rate and that kind of stuff. Nah, nah, nah. We're not gonna get too technical. Dan and I have done some vlogging in the past and we're just gonna judge based on our experience which is the best vlogging camera. So if you're interested in vlogging and you're here to watch, then we are reliable. Otherwise, we may not be a too reliable source for you to choose which camera you want. So let's begin with the Nikon Coolpix. I think the most important thing for a vlogging camera is number one, portability. True. It's easy to carry around since you're recording your daily life. Secondly would be image quality, how good the camera looks. And third would be audio. It's very important to have good audio because you're not recording from an external audio recorder. Right. You're relying on that the is. audio from your camera. Nikon Coolpix P900. First things first, it's too big. That's what she said! <laughs> it's too big for me. If you want to vlog, you want something The like... box is big. Oh, it's the huge. box is big. Okay, it's huge. <laughs> it's huge. Of course, you wouldn't put a small camera in a big box, right? It has a flip. Yeah, that's another thing that's, that's another really thing important. That's important you gotta see how you look. Of course. Wow. But I people always end up looking into the into the screen more than in, onto the lens. And that's why you have like, everyone has this weird off camera look. Like you're talking to someone else. I'm not a big fan of Nikon. For this size, it's actually pretty light. So the zoom is on the side. Now let, let, let's record some footage. Uh, hey guys, Hi. this is uh, us. It's us. Yep. Yep. Uh, nah. Testing yeah. audio. Okay. Uh, uh, Image stabilization. I wouldn't want to travel with this and carry this in my bag. And if I could carry this, my A7S is the same size. Exactly. <laughs> it's the same size. The only good thing about this is you can look at it from the side. Correct. And it's uh, easy access when you want to yeah, zoom in as well. It's out. easy access. Recording button though is all the way at the back, which is pretty easy to find. It's pretty simple. Oh, what I like about this is uh, the viewfinder. Ah. Check it is out, it, the it, viewfinder. It, 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 it's actually a digital viewfinder. Oh, okay. So there's a light for you rather than the normal. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. But the zoom is... The oh, zoom wow. Is it really zooms in. Look at this. Erection. You get what I mean? Ah, I, I think this is pretty important if you're going to somewhere dark. There are cameras that just, just pop boop. up yeah. and does the same function. I believe this is a... The mic. mic. Correct. Uh, overall, this is a good camera, but perhaps not the most portable camera. Mm. I wouldn't take this to travel, I wouldn't take this to record my daily life. But if I was a YouTuber and you know, you gave me this camera, I'd be like, mm, yeah, this is good. You can, can put it on a tripod this. still. I can work with this, it, yeah. it looks good, image is good. However, the Nikon Coolpix P900 does not shoot in 4K. A lot of cameras now shoot in 4K, so this is something you might want to consider. But not if everyone you uploads me, 4K yeah, on If you ask me, I don't think 4K is still that important. Yeah. Maybe 720p is fine. I watch most of my videos on my phone. So... Really? Okay, 180p. Yeah, okay. you need 1080p, man. So with a retail price of 929 SGD, I would rate this camera 1 out of 5. Give it 2 out of 5. I think the zoom is pretty cool. Yeah. I think it's a special feature compared to the other cameras. However, as a vlogging camera, you don't need to zoom that much. Exactly. Here's a vlogging tip. You have to vlog the right moments. You can't repeat something funny. You can't do it again. You have to be there for the moment. You can't just take this out of your bag. Okay, guys, wait, wait, wait. Hold that joke. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, say it, say it, say it. You can't do that. Or you can just take something out of your pocket. Okay, shoot. Okay. Wow. You know what I mean? That's so, actually very true. If you have to put this in your bag, it's going to take a You're lot gonna of time. You're going to waste a lot of time. Let's move on. Let's move on to the next camera. The second camera, the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. This is one of the most popular cameras among the vloggers. Oh yeah. Now look, now this is a vlogging camera. This is small, this is portable, and ah. Flip screen. Flip screen. For a vlogging camera, I prefer it when the screen flips up rather than flips sideways. Because when you're vlogging, you have to look directly into the lens. A lot of people accidentally look into the screen which is normal. So when you're vlogging, you might look up a little and that's okay. But if it's on the side, then you're looking to the side of the lens and as a viewer watching the footage, it you don't... Weird. It, it feels like the person vlogging is not talking to you. If you're lazy like me... The on button is right here. Very simple. 
So here we go. Autofocus is pretty cool. It's very fast. Mm -hmm. Very good sensor. Very good sensor. You know, it it keeps it keeps the square on your face. Also, it's facial facial recognition. Yes, that's good. That's good. How's the image stabilization? Image stabilization is uh. Okay, not I too can't, good. I can't judge right now. Yeah. I mean, you just have to shake it a bit. Uh, yeah, it's not too good. Yeah. It's not good for me because I have very unstable hands. I like how portable it is. I, I feel like I can just tell. How, how yeah. about the zooming features though? Zooming features? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> What's the aperture on this lens, man? The aperture is 1.8. It goes to as low as 1.8. And that means that you are able to have more bokeh. Okay, which makes you more good looking. Oh, it's touch screen. Are you serious? Oh. Oh, oh, you oh, can okay. focus by touching it. Oh, that is dope. Oh. Look at that. I'm just gonna focus on Dan's face. Oh, that that is great. That is great. Thank you. That is great. It's 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 very simple. I thought the Nikon was simple. This is more simple. The audio records from here. The price of this is seven ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Still a bit pricey, but if you compare it to the Nikon, it's cheaper and I think it's better in almost all aspects if you want a vlogging camera. Guess what? It records in 4K. Ah! Hmm. 5 out of 5. 5 out of 5 for me. Easy. So the next one we have here is a Panasonic DMC LX10. That's a mouthful. On and off is a switch. It's not, and it shows in 4K if you guys don't know. Oh, it's touchscreen! Oh, it's touchscreen! Yay! Okay. That would have been easier. One of the special things of this camera is, is that it has post focus. Which means after you take a photo, you can choose your focal point. Okay, let's try vlogging. Hey! Hello! Hey, everybody! I think it's in 60 FPS. Oh, yes. Yeah, right. Wow. Image stabilization looks yes, definitely. pretty cool. Oh, and the aperture can go down to 1.4. That's really, really nice. A lot of bouquet for you guys. Yeah. Hi! Hi! Wow, uh, it's actually really clear. It's very clear. Yeah, it's uh, crisp. Can we focus on Dan? Is it? Uh, I think you have to set the mode, but I think there is a mode to. Oh wow, actually, I'm sure, that, sure there, there yeah, is. it actually focus onto me. Hi, hi. Okay, one thing compared to the power shot, the focusing takes slightly longer. No, but I really like that it's 1.4. You can also adjust it. This is the aperture ring. Mm -hmm. So you can adjust the aperture here. I'm not used to having the recording button there. I'm really used to having the recording button here. So it's okay. It's not. It's not a big deal. But if you, you know, if you want to find your way today. Alright. This is a zoom. So how far is it? This zoom? is an optical zoom. Twenty-four to fifty. Seventy. Seventy-two. Seventy. Seventy-two. Given that the price is one K plus, and but it looks super cool. Though. I'll have to give it a three. What? Solely because of the price. And okay. it's too complicated for me. But if you want really good image quality, I feel like this is the one to go with. It's very portable. I would give this a 5 out of 5. And so far, if I could choose, I would choose this one. Because of the 1.4. I would choose this one, yeah. Next up, we have the Sony RX100 Mark IV. Yep. That's the one we use for our vlogs. Exactly. This is also a very, very popular camera. Yes. Uh, among vloggers. I know Dikosh uses it. We know our way around the menu, around the features. Exactly. The screen is a little smaller, I think. Um, yeah. The, yeah, uh, sc screen's slightly smaller. The aperture goes down to 1.8. Not as nice as 1.4, the Lumix. But 1.8 is 1 .8 still is very simple. good. Really good. Is it touchscreen yeah. though? It's not. It's not. It's not. Okay. Viewfinder. See, I know myself. Comes out I know my nowhere. way around this camera. Uh, flash. Yes. See, now this is a flash. This is small and doesn't, you know, it's portable. Doesn't, doesn't really you look don't too need much. the big Nikon. I think it may be a bit more complicated to use than the G7. To some people, uh, if you're using it for the first time, you might need a little more time with it. This zooms up to 70mm. Yep. It's shot by 2mm to the Lumix. Yes, correct. And this costs $1,499. God damn it! 1.5k down the drain! Oh yeah, it shoots 4k. Mm. I will rate this 4.5 out of 5. 4. Alright. Next up, Lumix. we have... DMC FZ300. That's another mouthful. Why Lumix like to name all their cameras so long here? Yeah! Okay, now this one is... I'm just gonna say 2 big. out of 5 before anything. This is big. What, 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 what's so shocking? 600. 600 
The zoom goes up to 600. Hi. Hi guys, is it touch how screen? Is, how do you is zoom in and zoom out? Oh yes, it, oh, is, it, is, it is It is. touch screen. How do we zoom in and zoom out? Through here. Nice. Did nice. you access? Alright. Uh... Is it already 600? Well, I, I, it's really clear. Oh, it's it's crisp. It's very, very crispy. It's nice. Image stabilization. Try and check it's it. It's actually light. But I wouldn't carry this around because I can't fit it in my pocket. I can't hold it around my hand. This is seven nine nine. Oh, dude, there's gotta be a catch though. Why is it so cheap? It shoots in four K. Shoots in four K. Seven nine nine. Significantly cheaper than the the other one. The other bulky one. Maybe as a vlogging camera, not so much. But as like a normal camera to do a YouTube video. Yeah. I think it's pretty decent. I think it's pretty dope. Mike. There is an external plug from Mike. Genius. Let's let's not talk about vlogging for a moment. Okay. If you want to be a YouTuber, do videos. You don't know what camera to pick. I would suggest this. You can plug in your mic. Viewfinder is digital. Wait, got mic and earphone. It's a pretty good good zoom. Aperture two point eight. You know what? I suggest this as a vlogging camera. Two. I give it a three. I give it a two. I give it a as three. a normal camera. As a normal camera five. to start out a YouTube video. I choose this. Yeah. Finally, the last camera we have here a Sony RX ten. Mark II With a whopping price of $1,899 This is the most expensive one so uh, far I don't want to touch So scary <laughs> We are fans of Sony We are, definitely So there's an audio input Right here Earphone input So you can listen to the playback through your earphones Uh. uh first fault <laughs> First problem is As a vlogging camera you can't look at yourself. Nope. Usually, the other cameras of this size flips this way. Yes. This one doesn't. It, does. it just goes up and down. Digital viewfinder as well. Yeah. It's not even touch screen, right? Yeah. It's not touch screen. None of these. Sony I don't think cameras. Sony cameras are touch screen. Yeah, right? keep okay. up with the times, guys. You know what this reminds me of? No, it reminds me of the, the Canon 5D Mark III. Yeah, 5D Mark III. There are many interesting functions on this camera that we don't know. Yep. However, they may not be necessary for a vlogging camera. If you're a vlogger or you want to be a vlogger and you want to get a camera just for vlogging, please do not get this. Avoid this. Not because you want to look at yourself, but you're talking to the audience, right? At least you know what's what, happening what, around what you. What you're shooting around. If you have the budget to spend one point. A5 on a camera like this, you may as well just top up and buy a A7S. Yeah. <laughs> After looking at everything, that's right. Which camera would you choose? G7X, hands down. So funny story. Three years back, we actually bought the Canon, the PowerShot G7. G7X, and after using it once, Channel decided to sell it. But I this told is him the G7X Mark II. But still, it was cheaper. I back sold then. it away to buy a Sony RX. 100. Now yeah. it's time for the drop test. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> oi, 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 oi. These are our two favorite cameras. If you have one of these, let us know what you think and let us know what you want to review next. We just want to give a very special shout out to REC by Ellen Photo. Thank you. They let us review all of these cameras. We got it from there. So thank you. And if you guys want to buy these cameras for yourself, you can go check them out. Link will be in the description below. We are not reviewing how good the camera is. We're just reviewing which is most suitable for vlogging. If you want to be a vlogger, YouTuber, then these are the two that we suggest. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.